A typical day would involve a diverse caseload with diverse patient needs and goals. I might see a patient whose goal is to get enough arm and leg strength to get out of a chair sufficiently or independently. The next patient could be someone who is a high school baseball pitcher with a rotator cuff injury whose goal is to return to playing his sport. Another patient could be someone I'm treating for plantar fasciitis who's trying to get a uh, qualifying time for the Boston Marathon. So changing gears like that makes every patient situation very unique. When I do an initial evaluation on a patient, uh, one of the main things that I look at is their alignment and see how that might play into the problems that they're having. I want the patient to know that they're going to get a thorough evaluation of alignment and movement patterns and that they should come away with exercise prescription that I give to them that can help them reduce pain and improve flexibility and strength. Understanding the patient's goals are very critical to developing effective treatment plans and it's important to communicate what is realistic and what can, can be achieved in some cases with patients and letting them know that we will try everything that we can for them to achieve their goals. Some of the unique features that we have at the Memorial East Rehab Facility would include the Alter-G treadmill, which allows us to place the patient in an environment where they can be as low as 20% weight bearing while on the treadmill. The Alter-G also has cameras that are set up to monitor motion and kinematics and, and the cardinal planes of motion. Uh, that allows therapists to evaluate and then prescribe exercises to address deficits that we see. Another unique piece of equipment that we have at the Memorial East Clinic is the Biodex SD, which is um, an objective way to measure balance, and we use that on our vestibular patients and balance patients as well. We can also use the Biodex SD to do preseason testing for athletes who are at a higher risk for sustaining concussion. I had a patient who was involved in a snowmobile accident earlier this year and she fractured her clavicle. Because of that she was unable to move her arm and she then sustained a frozen shoulder. It was kind of a tough frozen shoulder to rehab and uh, she was thinking that she would have to have a manipulation of the joint. However, with diligent home exercise and coming to therapy, she has reported numerous gains and objectively she's making improvements with her shoulder range of motion. In fact, just recently she uh, told me about one of her little victories in that she could uh, reach her lamp on her nightstand and she thought that was just really great and something like you know putting her hair in a ponytail was was another small victory for her so to hear my patients talk about those kind of gains really is very rewarding.